Well, when a seed pops up out here in your garden, like in the spring, you'll get all kinds of volunteers from your tomatoes or whatever. And, you know, it comes up and they get beautiful. And sometimes you'll collect them and you'll use them. A lot of people will, you know, and you didn't have to do anything special with that tomato to keep it from getting sun scalded. You just, you know, it just came up and it evolved and it grew in that environment. You know, when we grow indoors and we start them indoors under lights and we bring them outside, then we have to have a hardening period and not just the sunlight, but also the temperature, right? You know, and when there's, you know, it's a hardening period. But if you start them outdoors, like you, like as if they popped up in nature, right, then you're going to avoid all that stress and worrying about it. So every opportunity you get, you get your, your seedlings out into the natural sunlight as soon as they come up and you but you still be careful with them like you might want to leave them out you know for half a day or whatever and put them in in a, you know in a shady spot but you the point being is you want to minimize the stress of the adjustment period of going from artificial lights to the sunlight and if the seed just comes up out in nature you don't have to baby it do you so you want to use that principle with your seeds and as the season progresses and it gets warmer out then i won't even be using lights at all i'll start everything outdoors in direct sunlight and they'll never have to be baby so that's a little bit about seeds that i'd like you to think about